Hello and welcome to another Nick Comedia tutorial. So for today I did not plan a tutorial but uh, a few minutes ago uh, a follower sent me a picture it was, and this was, uh, where is it here? Uh, of course it's on the other monitor. So he sent me this picture here and asked me if I can show how to uh, place between these two houses here to place some object so let, let's forward a uh, 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 mocha clone or something else and uh, yeah and yeah this follower uh, it's uh, it's nice he's from Vienna too so uh, and he sent me a kind donation and okay so I said because he needs it urgent I said okay I will do this and uh, he needs it for the physical render but uh, if we have time, and I think we will have time, I, I show it for Octane too. Okay, so let's start. Yeah, I got this picture, and the only thing what I did with this picture was I removed in Photoshop these people here, so now it looks like this. And yeah, because it looks a little uh, weird if you have, uh, I think when you have fallen down some objects here. And here is everything animated and the people stand still, so that looks a little weird. So we take this picture here. Good so far. Let's start. And yeah, we will see what, what we do. So just show you everything, how it works and do it so that you can uh, put in whatever you want later on. Good. So, okay. The first thing we need is a camera and uh, then we will uh, calibrate the camera to, to the picture. So, so we go to the camera, activate it, and right. The first thing is uh, I know the, the dimension of this picture is. Uh, so we start with here with low GI, or even first with low, it doesn't matter. The output, the picture is 2000 by. 1333 and I lock this to the same here as well so uh, 2000 by 3 okay and make it for this two as well 2000 by 2333 so and this should work good I uh, have a thing I don't make, so, so low should be fine for now. And yeah, the camera is here, and we need a calibration tag. So this, if we find under the tracker tags, you need uh, you see the camera calibrator. Okay, in the camera calibrator, we have now an image. Uh, let's hide this for the moment, so we have a little more space. Uh, we have image, and here I drag in my image, what I, what I made, so what I got. So I just drag it in from my desktop, and whoops. Okay, we have it here. Now, I start to calibrate. Here, I need some lines, so, so I want to make, let's say, this is the x-axis here, or this, you can do it however you want. Or let's make this the C axis. Uh, make, or uh, make, yeah, make this the C axis here. With the rails, this this will be the C axis for me. But you can do it that this is the X axis and the C axis here. Y axis should be clear. <laughs> this is <laughs> okay. Add a line, and this is a little. Uh, it's always a little hard to see the line here. This is a little. But we will see it so. I put the line here, so I take one point of the line on the rail here, and the second point from the line, put it here, so... And now I hold my shift key, I see the... I want to make this the C axis, the Z axis, and I know the Z is blue. So I go over the line, hold my shift key, and click on the line until the line is blue. So this means this is now my Z axis. Now I make the next one at the line and make another one on the rail here. Of course, as more lines you will set, as, as uh, more accurate the whole thing will be. 
So, shift click on the line and make one more here and along the house wall here. So add the line, make one here. I don't do it too accurate for the tutorial, but you can do it, of course, or you should do it accurate. So you see, it makes it already blue here because it knows. Meanwhile, this is the Z axis. Okay, but I do it, shift click on it and it's blue. Next will be the X axis. So I make here one and maybe here one and here one. So, and what I what I see now is where I should have uh, deleted this in Photoshop this this wires here too, but uh, it doesn't matter for now. Or maybe we let we make it with splines so that we with little sweep snaps with tiny sweep snaps and let it in the foreground. Then we will see. Same with the with the uh, fans here. So, okay, now add a line. And this will be the X, as I said. So put it here. And where's the second one here? This is red. The X is red. We know it. So another line. You can do this with a grid as well, but I prefer the lines. So something like that. And that. So here, X. You see, you have add a grid, so you could uh, make a grid here on this on the street or something. Like that. But as, as I said, I prefer the lines. And I make another line here on the top for the X. And as I said, as more lines you have, as more accurate this whole thing will be. So. Uh, something like that should be fine. X, you see here we we start to be, to be green, and no, I make uh, two lines here for the Y. So add here, one line here and along the the house here, along this edge. Y is green. And another one, this here is the Y, why not? So, okay, green. Okay, and you see that looks, looks all good. And the last thing I need is to add a pin. So, where were the, uh, yeah, a pin, so <laughs> where, uh, the object should go as I don't know how to, to, to tell you this, but uh, just need a pin. You can set the pin wherever you want on, on, a, on the line here. So, so, but I make a pin now and say the pin should be here. Okay, now you see yellow is okay and green, 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 yellow. Everything looks nice. And what I do now is let's tell it, please create. A background object. So what I get is a background object with this picture on it and we have calibrated our thing here. So when I click on the background picture here, you see, ah, I see nothing. That's, you have to be sure to have the environment enabled in the filter here. Then you see the picture. Good. And when I put now, so let's say, uh, cube inside here. So with E just to move it. It should move nicely with the with the with the perspective here. So, so I'm gonna go back here and drag this let's say here inside. It should nicely fit inside here. But of course now it does not look right because so but you see it, it works with the perspective it like works nice. And we will see it now because now I need some planes. Uh, when I want to let uh, fall some objects here in the middle, uh, I need some colliders, of course. So I need a plane here on the, 
I need a planner on this side, but it does not really matter, but it looks better. And I just make some planes and, and the floor where the, the, our uh, MoGraph objects can uh, collide. So let's bring in a plane. Good, we have a plane. We could use this as a floor. We need to, a little to, to fine tune this later on, but you see, it, it, it goes nicely along the. So it's not totally perfect as this is here, but for this, it's, it's okay. You see, here along the. We, we go nicely along the way. So, bring this back. So, let's see, we have here a flow now. It does not really matter how big this is. Theoretically, we can do it the whole floor. But I'm sure we have to, to set this later on again. Maybe it's like this also. Make it quite big. As I said, it does not matter because this is just a floor. But we will see later on if it, if it, if it fits. Okay. Let me see, see it a little better. And it's a little hard to tell. So now I need a plane here. I can copy this plane. So make it plus X here. And up a little bit, make it smaller. Let's see, I want it here on the wall. Something like that. This won't fit at the first time, so, so but we uh, will. I'm sure we can do it so. The important thing is done with the calibration. So. Okay, and now let's bring another plane inside. This C. And normally I could watch from here. It stops here, so I'm going to take this one. And here, so I have here my edge here. Not really have to be exactly, but but exactly, but uh, so I copy this one, bring this on this side here. So let's say something like right here, and I copy this plane here and drag it. Oops, uh, come on, so. Take it to here. It's a little tinkering around, but should be fine later. Maybe this, this, this. Looks not bad so far. Okay. What I do now is I take this same. Uh, a texture what I have here in the background on the planes. So I select, oh, I can, can do it like this, go to here, then I go to assignment, if it in the background and I want it on the planes too, I just drag these planes in the assignment here. Nice. And here we need a front, a frontal mapping. So I can do frontal. See, okay, looks nice so far. And what we need to do all the planes, we need a compositing tag. This is so I right click, go to the render tags, and here we have compositing tag. And in the compositing tag, I need compositing background. 
that should be it. And if we render this now, we should shouldn't see something from the, the from the uh, planes. Let's see if it's true. We don't see our planes. We don't see nothing here. Exactly what we want. Gonna put it a little bit. Okay, nice so far. And now let's see if if we what we have to do when I see this plane here is not really where I want it, so I want it somewhere like here. And this this one will be somewhere like here maybe. Okay. We will see it exactly when we let fall some things here. So let's save this. Let's save it under. Uh, no, but we can, we can save this under compositing. Comp. Okay. Uh, the next step is let's see if we see this here behind. If yes, we no. Everything looks looks nice. Okay. Now let's make a cube. I let four shots of some cubes for the moment. And bring this cube here in the middle of our scene. So drag this cube in and bring it here in the middle. Oh, let's see. Yeah, somewhere like here. These are our two house walls here, the side walls. So we have here our cube. Looks nice. And make a corona. Uh, web Mograph Cloner. So, the Cloner, well, let's make a grid array. And we have, let's say 250, 250, 250. And make here three as well. Later we will make some more, but for the, for the, just for the test. Now, of course, our planes all need a, a collider tag, so we go to the simulation tags, collider body, and the cloner needs a bam, 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 simulation tag, rigid body. If you are in R21, the rigid body is set to apply tag to children and all. That's, that's correct, but in the earlier versions, it's uh, it's the default is known and off, so you have to go here to apply to children, and in this case, top level or all this doesn't matter. Okay, this should work normally. Whoops. Yeah, we see it works. And let's see if we are on the floor. This, this is, and it it looks a little weird. It it falls far too slow. So what we can do here is we can go up with the with the, with the uh, gravity or something else. But what I like to do is with Control D, I go in my project settings to dynamics, and I go up with the time scale. Let's say two hundred percent. So see now it falls quicker. Go. It looks good so far. I want to see if we are on the floor. We are nice on the floor. It looks fine. But it looks a little boring for the moment. So we need more clones and more everything. Let's go uh, back here. Well, let's see, we make the cube a little smaller and make more of them. Let's go. If you want to um, set all three values here together, so just click on this size here. Give 100 and then you click control enter so all three sides will be 100 is going to be a little too small 150 but now we have to go into the cloner as well and oh, this, this is okay then we can bring it a little smaller together closer together and we can make more more clones four 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 
and make a little rounding on the cube here, a little fillet, radius of 10 maybe, and 5. And when we let it fall now, yeah, it looks much better. The floor has to be bigger, you see <laughs> they fall on the, on the back side, they fall down. So just make the floor bigger. Get back here. So. And we can make the floor all along here, so that's, that's okay. That should still look nice. Yep. And now I want to make, uh, yeah, first let's see if it works. It works perfect. Okay. And now, uh, yeah, I want a nice render. This, 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 this render looks not really nice. First we need uh, some material for our, our boxes here. So I go to my Shift F8 to my to the Nicomedia materials, but you can take of course every material, you don't have to have this one. And a wood and let's see, it looks nice. This Yeah, this planks here should look nice. Bring it out here. On to our cube. This seems to look nice. Uh, let's go out of the camera here. Okay. Good. Save it. And if we render this, it looks a little boring because we have no shadows, no, no nothing. So then we need GI. So I bring in my scene rig, of course, every time. So I need nothing. You see, the floor is here, but uh, because of the camera calibration, we have this. Up. But we don't need anything. We don't need floor. We don't need. We just need the HDRI here. And in the HDRI, when I now render this, I have to go to GI, of course, and render this. It looks much better. We have nice shadows. We don't even need ambient occlusion here, I think. Normally, when you have GI, normally you don't need ambient occlusion. So, so I go to my low GI settings and disable ambient occlusion. That should make it a little brighter here. Yeah, you see, now it's almost the same. You don't, don't need it. And then you don't save some render time. And I w don't want this cube, so, so I want it less saturated. So I go to my color here, make a, a layer uh, here on our picture, and on the effects I go to saturation and get what down with the saturation a little bit. And this was a little too much. Okay. And now that I, I want the color to fit to this picture, unfortunately, normally, I, you see, we have now here some problems with GI. We see our planes here, so later we, we have to make this a little nicer. But, uh, yeah, what, what, what was it? I forgot it now. Yeah. Uh, normally, when I have a, G a JPEG, I have an HDRI uh, as well from this picture. But here we just have this JPEG, and it's it's no problem. You can use a JPEG as well uh, to to lighten your scene, but it's not so intense, of course. So you will see when I go to my scene rig here and bring in the same picture like here. It doesn't have to be uh, whatever. So bring it just here in the bring the same picture. The very same picture in here as I have here in the texture. And it looks much nicer because now we have the, the colors of this of this picture in here. And if I see to say okay, this is but this is too not bright enough, I can bring this a little brighter and we have nice cubes here. Okay, and now we have to make the uh 
notice this plane is a little better, so bring it here. So okay, because it, it, we don't need it so far because they can uh, disappear behind the wall here, behind the back wall, of course, the, the tubes. So, so it doesn't matter. I just don't want to see this black or this this, this dark edges of the, of the plane. Here I don't have to go so high because uh, they, they don't uh, uh, jump over and if, so I make it a little higher. Uh, here it's a little, uh, I don't want to lose my, uh, I don't lose it, so, I can't know, so. so, and go down here, fit here, that's should, should fit, here it's okay, I don't, I don't see it here. And if you read it now, it should look much better. We don't have the black planes anymore. And we have this, and we have a nice bender. And here we can be even crazier. Let's let's rotate the cubes a little bit before we let them fall. So I go to the cloner and give the cloner a little uh, a random effector. So MoGraph effector, little random effector. And in the random effector, I just want to affect the rotation. And let's see, 30, 30, 30, and go back here. Now we have something like this, but here we have to be careful because if they intersect, they will a little, uh, they will explode. So let's see, but if they don't intersect, it looks so. And now you see that they go fall on the street as well. That, that looks nice. That's great. And if you make it very precise, precise, you can make here a little cube on the pavement here so that you have this edge here. And if you want this this here, so, so you, you can you can model this very, very rough. And so you, you get exactly the, and just put a frontal mapped uh, texture on it. So we have this, but to be even crazier, I want to make this fence here. Okay, let's make this fence. This shouldn't be a big problem. I take this here and copy it. So, drag it to here. Make it, of course, much smaller, as big as the fence is. So something like that. Oops, wrong again. Should be the blue one. Eh. The, 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 the C axis. So let's get this. So can drag it to here. So this shouldn't be possible. Why is this possible that I drag it in this direction? Because I said here, you should drag only in the Z axis. That's crazy. Huh. Okay. However you want. I can make this here as well. So bring it exactly here in the middle. Uh, something like that. I, I start again to make this too precise. It's, it's just a tutorial. You shouldn't make it so bad. Okay, good. The height of the fence uh, is something like that. Okay. Now we can make more subdivisions on the plane so that it fits more than less the, the plane, or the fence. But I don't need this, I make it just like this. This should, it's not so exactly. And now I put the plane, the plane in an atom array. Here, atom array should be here, no, this here. 
Add to Mary. I hold my Alt key with the plane selected. Help you add to Mary. And let's see. Cylinder radius to should be fine. And here on the add to Mary, do the very same here. I just drag this to the compositing tag and the texture tag and the uh, the collider tag on the atomary. So if I render this, you see we have our fans here. We don't see our original one. So we see this, and now it should work when when we let this fall. Because I can make, as I said, I can make this more accurate that it really fits the fan. So you could cut uh, here where you, are, you need the, the uh, yeah you the the steel or <laughs> whatever. But let it fall now, man. <laughs> that works perfect. Let me render this. <laughs> But maybe it's not a good idea to make this with a front, frontal mapping here. We will, we will the atomary we will just render it with, with the steel or something else. So make a new material, check, make some different nail, make a conductor material and bring in some Chromium, copper, whatever. Iron. Should be fine. I don't need color here. And bring this on my atomary. And it looks better. Make the fence a little bigger. So. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> and we have our MoGraph action here between these two houses. And yeah, yeah, I will render uh, uh, in, in the middle GI. It shouldn't take all too long when I render it. So I go to here and make it in the middle. Make it just a thousand here so it renders faster. All frames and I am back when this is rendered. Okay, so see you in a second. Oops, come on. Okay, and yeah, see you in a second. So, back and let's see what we get. Oops, here is my mouse again here. And, whoop. <laughs> Works great. Of course, this grain, what you see here, I don't know if you, know, you see it for sure. Uh, it's, it's because of, of course because of the low very very low render settings I have here, so so the render settings is the middle just GI. Oh, I forgot to disable ambient occlusion. Oh, it doesn't matter. So I want to see uh, for four seconds render time per frame. This is nothing. So you can if you have R twenty one you can set on it uh, the noise and render it with the noise. This should help a little bit, but of course if you render this out uh, finally you should go to higher settings. So, yeah, this is this, and yeah, that's that's great. So, but let's let's ex exchange the uh, the cubes. So. Uh, Instead, of, we can make something like yeah. Well, if you have just two things, I put out the cube. I could make an instance of the cube and then just exchange the uh, the this. Uh, but it's not it's not necessary. Uh, let's see what content browser. What gives us the content browser? Something. Uh, building celebration. Uh, we could have taken this box in the gift box. Go, 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 three. Humans, let, let's fall humans. is not the best thing, I think. 
miscellaneous maybe trash cans uh, let's 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 hold trash cans why not drag in the trash cans so we have the bin I this evil here so I bring the bin here in the cloner but first I disable the cloner and for the moment I have seen here is a, a subdivision surface I disable this we don't need such a, such a high mesh here and to enable the cloner and I think the bin is a little too big so when, when we put this let's enable the cloner oh no it is too small uh, maybe let's make uh, less first let's make it bigger go to the bin here T for scale and scale it up a little bit because at the moment it's more in the front that the, the pin and not not on the on the place of the cloner uh. okay maybe like this with the cube and here because I have a null object and this is a uh, these are different objects here here I disable the subdivision surface as well okay here I have to go in the cloner now to top level so it's all of this this is all connected now in what is it is in this uh, null because this is the top level here so and now I don't press play I just press G on the keyboard so we with, with one frame after the other because so I can see uh, it works quite quick so I don't have to be afraid and when I don't have to be afraid I can play run uh, make them bigger again so, T for scale bin like that maybe whoop play <laughs> okay <laughs> it looks nice they explode a little bit because they are intersector <laughs> but it's okay here this is okay and let's see what we get Yeah, the color is not really the nicest one here. This is the trash can here. Bin. The handles. What's that? White pins. This is not. This is not nice. No. No, make it totally metal. Take the metal of this, of the handles, put it on it, see what we get. Yeah, nice. And let's make the lid here in a different color, maybe, so not white. I'll give the lid um, a random color. We have here the randomizer, so let's play with it. Parameter, color mode, on, effector color. And here in the color, instead of a normal color, I give a MoGraph color shader. Let's see if it gives us different colors here now. <laughs> Looks a little funnier. What's that here? If TGX is okay. I want it a little more shiny here. This whole thing. Yeah. And 
and here yeah, dielectric uh, or make it make it make it conductor too and don't take a color go to the reflectance and take ear inside the color shader A little bit. It does something, but not really what I want. So, reflect. No specular. I hate specular. And here, that layer, hundred percent. Yeah. Maybe make it here a little. Multiply it two hundred. <laughs> okay, this is a little crazy, but we like it crazy. And now the nice thing is, you see, we have in the reflections of the uh, trash cans here, we have our color of the houses and such so, so, so things. Because on the other side here, there should be houses too. And that looks nice. <laughs> I like it like this. We have a lot of trash cans here now. And maybe make this whole scene now a little more intense here, about 200. does not really help us. Let's go back to 150. What I can do is the reflection brightness here, go up to 10 maybe. This should help us to be brighter. Oh, this, this is much brighter. 5% here. And what we can even do is, it looks like the we have a sun behind the houses, so we have here long shadows here. I'm not sure if this is true, but uh, let's see if we can handle this. Because we have in the Nicomedia Scenery the sun, which we can activate, so activate the sun. Let's go to low GI here so we get a nice. So and we should see something from the sun. The, the dummy is here. Is the, uh, is it's, ah, here I see the dummy here on the here in the background. But let's go to here. And here is the sun. And this could be fine because you know, the houses are here you now in this direction. So the sun should be somewhere like here. Okay, and of course a little higher, so where do we see this? This is our sun here. Okay, and we should get some. Yeah, now we have here shadows, you see? But this is... A little up here. Huh? No, not minor, so it would... Plus direction. But, let's say 15 maybe. I want a little longer shadows to 20. Now I get shadows here. And this should look like, it should look nice too when we make the animation. So, 40, this is too high. And yeah, I get this is too, too high. 
28. Yeah, this is this is not a nice long in. This is okay. Save this. <coughs> and now I want to render this again because I think with the sunlight this could look nice. And bring the Rona up so we don't see it. Uh, oh no, this, this is okay for my power. I think. So uh, I go even down with the render here in the middle. Oh no, let, let's be with, with 15. Is, uh, let's go to 20. So this is less accurate. So Blurriness in the subdivision to one, this is more than enough. Shadow and length, ambient occlusion we don't have, this is okay. Subset scattering we don't have, but, but down, okay. And let's see how long here a frame renders. Dum, 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 dum. Quite quick, seven, okay, because it's now a little longer, of course, because of the sunlight and then the, and the material. But I think it could be funny. So, okay, I'm back when it's done. So, back and let's see what we get. We get something like this. Yeah, of course, a little grain is in, still inside, but as I said, this is the low setting. I wonder, because why the... Ah, the, the roll is so, so, so strange because of the handles here, that's the reason. Makes a very good job, this dynamic, it, 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 it re recognized that the handles and everything, nice. Yeah, and you see the, the, the sunlight, that, that looks, that, that, that of course looks great now with the shadow. <laughs> yeah, I like it, I really like it. Because because of the HDRI, so it's the same. It's not an HDRI; it's a normal picture. But we have the, the color has the same. The, the shadow of the color is the same like here. So so that everything is perfect here. Except this maybe here. Here the our thing seems to be our, our wall seems to be a little. Oh, so let's try to make this a little finer, to refine this a little bit. Low GI. But I go here in low GI, I will go from progressive to fixed. To should be fine. Go to PPR. Okay. We have here this. Yeah, this is E. Bring it a little back here. Maybe rotate it a little bit. So yeah, now it looks fine here. Same with uh, here. It seems to be okay, like this. Let's hide this thing. Yeah, we have here shadows from the from the sun. Maybe we should give these planes, at least these two planes here, this one and this one. Let's go here yeah, and cast shadows, no. Same here. This is okay. Uh, or the whole planes don't cast shadow. I think that's better. That looks better now, yeah. Tina. Yeah, I think we uh, we can leave it like that. But. Uh, no, we, we have here this, this this dark thing, this is an original picture, okay. But it gets a little darker then, but but that's okay. It's totally okay for me. I don't know, okay, but Okay, nice. <laughs> 
Good, we have this one, and now let's try the same with Octane. But I think in Octane it will be a little more complicated, but uh, we, will, we will do it. So, Octane, what we don't need is, of course, the Nicomedia Scenic, we need the Octane Rig later, so we have to delete this one. Or bring this back, and I will. Oh, wait, this one, come on. Control C, Control C, Control C is. Uh, everything here, yes, sun is activated, nice, 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 nice. Render it again to see if it works, because I want to. To save this now is comp PR so physical render. So right now we can make the octane version. So you don't have to select when you when you want to delete the, the rig, you don't have to select it, but I uh, do it. So everything is fine. Uh, we need we don't need a back oh, we need a background picture of course we need it and we need the camera yes and we don't need this uh, uh, this is, uh, we need insta we might make it different no don't make it different so don't I delete this here because here we need just a shadow catcher and the metal, we will see how it how it works with the uh, octane. Uh, let's bring in the octane rig wing uh, with this one. We don't need any background or floor. because we make our own and here I bring in of course instead of this HDRI I bring in my HDRI from the background picture and uh, on these planes I need a shadow catcher so we can delete here uh, we don't work with the cube here Let's delete the whole cube. We don't need it, and we don't need this wood texture. We have here. What is this here? Assignment. This is the atom array. Okay. Good. We need uh, mat uh, material and metal materials. So obtain dialog. I got the materials, and here I want to make a metallic material. And when I drag over uh, the, I want to show you, so this was, this one here, the Marie. When I drag over a material and I don't want to, ex to exchange, I just hold my Alt key and you see the whole rectangle uh, is here, you see the whole rectangle and I release it and this exchanges the, the, the material and it exchanges this here on the Atom Array as well. So, so I have here now this Octane material. Boop, 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 boop. No editor, and here I do not much, just a little roughness in here, and a little darker RGB spectrum, a darker spectrum map, so something like that. And let's see what we see when we see something. <laughs> let's see if we see something. So I save it and uh, Octane. Okay, and render. Let's see what we get. That's interesting. Okay, Octane Rig HDRI. B -b 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 Don't need. A, I have a background picture here. So let's start with this. The first thing I need is in the Octane setting here, like this smaller. So in the Octane setting, I have to activate. I'm in the path tracing, but I have to activate Alpha Channel. You see, 
and I have to uh, deactivate keep environment. So we see this now. <coughs> it's clear that the uh, that the C4D shader does not work here. So this is the metal for the for the uh, trash cans here. Well, let's take the same material like like we have on the. Yeah, let's take the same material like we have on the. Uh, You know what I mean. Lit handle pin come on, where's it so pin pin and handle, so I take the octane material here. Pin handles so and I make another one so I delete this two here. These are the C for D shaders here. And I want the handle same material here and on the lids I want the color shader, the, the, the mocha shader. So I make a new material or simply copy this material here. Let's see if we can work with this. This is a lid. Bam, 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 bam. No, I don't know. I want my no editor so. and then instead of this specular here I try do, 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 go down here do the mocraft shader mocraft color shader bring it in and drag it the specular map let's see what we get ah, I should put it on the lid that looks not like I want it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Go here, the dynamics. Immediately, I don't want the cloner object. No, come on, I want here render instances. No. Why I don't get here my maybe diffuse? Definitely does something, but not what I want. So let's see what we have to do. Parameter effector color is on. This is not. It should work, but I often have problems here that then I get something to build the camera on top of here. So I'm gonna see it a little better. This is the color shader. Let's see. I'm gonna take here a color in the color map and make this color, let's say, red or something else. That makes no difference. Diffuse. Specular. Okay, now we know what we have to do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this, this is Octane. It looks immediately very nice. <laughs> so. Let's go back to the camera. So. It's, it's so nice here. And the yellow lid here, you have this color inside the yellow. That is that's great. And now we need for the for the walls a simple diffuse material and in this material we go to common and activate shadow catcher so let me get uh, again assignment bring in the five planes here and you see what you get we are done okay this was much more much easier than I thought it will be. Only thing what we miss here is... Yeah, before you render something final and you have such an animation, I always recommend to uh, cache the animation. So let's cache this. So 
Uh, now I can scroll through my animation when I want. So and this is, of course, something nice, but it looks not like the other before. This looks like a different thing here. Let's do this without cache. That's crazy. Here we have an other. Or is here some? No, I miss here. And then in the other uh, dynamic simulation, there were here a, a pin, but it doesn't matter. So it doesn't really bother me. So, only thing I want to do here is as well. Uh, check. I want here sunlight too. So. Go to Octane Rig, Sun, activate the Sun. We see immediately the Sun here. And we have to rotate it like this. Okay. Maybe not. So. Oh, no, <laughs> that's not like this. When you want a uh, not so hard shadow, you uh, just make the sun size bigger. That should give you smoother shadows. You see? But it is a little too... It's too dark here. But when I go down with the power, it makes this, and then not the shadow, right? So, but this is not what I want. Activity. What does do that? Yeah, okay. Okay. But here, it does not seem so that, that we have shadows here because oh, no, it, we, uh, yes we have here the shadows from the it's uh, yeah it's it's almost the same color to maybe but to me this uh, well, it's how can I make the shadow here not so intense? It's okay, 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 okay. Hmm. Is there a setting that I don't have here for the shadow? Let's see. But I don't think so. So let's go to the layer and unhide this whole magic. And let's go to the sunlight here. Yeah, this shadow then does this is not interesting for us. No, it's the same here. Maybe I disabled it. No, no this is. No, it's a little weird, but but it's okay. We here it's it's, it's it's dark as well. So, so, but but what a little weird is here. So we have here the sunlight. This so theoretically, no, it has to be a little darker, of course. But I want it not so dark. Huh? How can I change this? Hmm. Don't think that this this is really possible. Make it here a little brighter. Oops. And we have the intensity here, so. 
this. This does not change anything here. That's interesting. Uh, because, yeah, of course, because of the sun, now the sun takes effect when I go to mix texture and not at intensity. No, I don't know. But when I deactivate the sun now, yeah, uh, now we have the intensity. So it works with the intensity. But it's okay for me, so, so uh, if you know how I can make the shadow brighter here, please let me know. Because this is a little weird. That the shadow is dark. But here you cannot... Uh, play. So, and, uh, but this is not what I want to see, so sometimes you get problems. What uh, what I had it uh, it's, a, it's a little time ago, but when I rendered this to the picture viewer, so I go to Octane Output 2000 to 1333. So let's go here to 1500 and Octane render everything nice. And normally, what I do is <coughs> I always use the use the noise beauty bus so when i do this and i render this now in the picture viewer a little big it's not finished the render i think it's not finished no you see if it's finished tack you get this first thing what i see is this white edges here this is what I totally not want, so let's go here down to a thousand with the output. Render again so that you can see something. Yeah, this is better. So it looks everything fine, but now we get this. The first thing I see is the right thing, so, so what you can do here is, you can do it in the, uh, with a camera uh, object tag. But I can do you can do it in the settings as well. Go to the camera imager and go here to pre pre multiply alpha, uh, uh, alpha R shift R and let's see what we get now. You see now we have a very nice thing here, so we don't have these white spots. And the problem here with if you and if you now disable the noise, then you will have your your background picture. With the noise, you don't get your picture background picture. So, so you, you, you see now here you get your back, uh, background, and with with the noise, it comes out like this. So don't forget to deactivate the noise, and you get this here. Okay. But I am now not sure if I want here the sun or not. But it looks it looks nice with the sun. Again here, so take with the sun. Yeah, you, you have to decide because they are in the shadow of this house, so they do not really have shadows. No? So, so because they are in a shadow. So where, where should they get the sun from? The, but with the sun, of course, it, it looks it looks nicer. Yeah, they get sun from you. Yeah, I don't know how you want it. I you think it looks better. So, so maybe we can here bring in the uh, delete here the. We don't need them, but give them an Octane Object Deck Visibility, Shadow Visibility, makes no difference here. Mm -hmm. Normally we don't have to see them at all, but then we don't get shadows into nothing, you see now, 
This is when we see <laughs> we don't see our things here. But the shadow visibility it does. Yeah, of course, it's, it's because these are uh, shadow catchers, so, so they don't uh, throw shadow, so they don't cast shadow. Okay, yeah, so it's, it's a, yeah, so you how you like it, and if you know how you, I could make the the shadow a little brighter, uh, uh, maybe, maybe if I go to my shadow catcher here. I make one just for the floor. This, oh, this is background picture, no, this is shadow catcher. Yeah, these are the shadow catchers. And I make just one for the floor. Here's the floor, this is plane one, here's also plane zero. Make here. So. I don't think that it will work, but it's it's worth a try. Basic node editor and play with the opacity. Maybe when I the opacity. Yeah? No makes a difference then, huh? Ah, Makes no oh, I have to bring it on the, on the floor, of course. Plain, huh? so back now. No, it makes a difference. I thought when, when I bring it, huh? ah, wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's, it's here or not. So, 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 so. Oh, this is not what I want. I thought we can go to 50% and then it's so, so sooner, but it does not work. Unfortunately, it does not work. If I give this a color, this will not work too, I think. So, let's see. Why should it work? This is no reason to work. <laughs> okay, now maybe you can tell me why. But I am quite happy with this. But I personally would do it. I would render it with sun because when they fall down, it looks so nice with the sun. Let's render this out. It should go quite fast here, so. Whoops, so output, everything. All frames and render. Yes, no saving is okay. So it should render quite fast. Two seconds a frame is okay for me. Okay, I'm back soon. So, I did two render here now. And one is here with Sun. Let's do that. And I have here some weird shadows. So, so. And I go to here. You see, here we have shadows. There should, should not be any shadows. So, I want to find out why. <coughs> so, I guess, and yeah, and I did one without sun, so it looks pretty nice, but I want to bring in the shadow. Okay, so, I bake this animation again, and I have here, so let's see where I am, yeah, here I have this, this shadow that I don't like. So I'm going to check camera is off, okay. I'll go out of my camera. And I see here two clones. They are behind this wall, so they shouldn't be there. Yeah, now we could make this wall at the beginning a little higher so that it goes up here. We could make exactly this shape too. And, or, it's an uh, easier version would be, wait, this is, yeah, the cloner, and go to the MoGraph selection. So I can select now the clones I don't want, so 
I select this one and this one. You see the yellow points? And now with R20 or was it 19 too, you can make now simply in the MoGraph height selected. So we don't get them anymore. And now I see okay that the shell not go back. Here I have this shadow and again I have still here and some things. Yeah, but this could only be this year. Yeah, of course I have to hide it. Hide selected. So so go to the mocap cloner. Hide selected. Ah, it does not hide my selection because I did not select anything. One, two, so. Why are these? These, these are. Uh -huh. That's interesting. Okay, these two. Do I still have the shadow here? Why? Ah, oh, because. Uh, let's go to check camera and go in the camera. And render this again. I shouldn't see these two clones here. Hey, 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 oh, ah, wait, here is one. I want to select this one too. Ah, come on, I can I not select this guy here. Okay, now they are away. No, I should have only, okay, this behind is a way. What's with this guy here? No, this guy can, oops. Uh, I did. Camera, okay. So, uh, don't forget to give the camera an, an, an protection tag when you do something like this. So, let's play with the check camera now. So, Let's find here is one, but it should be everything fine here so far. Okay, let's go. Let's go through here. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, it seems to be okay. Let's bring the sun a little. To the other position. Don't like the sun in this position. Ah, the sun should not be here. This should be at minus ninety normally. So here, yeah. Because we we are we look straight from here, and that means the sun should be here. Yeah. So okay. It's a little out of the of center here, of course, because this is not in the center. Everything, huh? so that means the sun is here. This, this is is just a, a dummy for the sun. I can hide it. And yeah, this should be another dummy. Okay, when I find this now, so let's go to. Yeah, now it looks correct. Now it looks perfect. And with the shadow, yeah, you could render a shadow pass or something else and make this 
in post a little uh, brighter, so, so brighten it up in post a little bit. So you don't get so dark shadows. That's me, so okay. So I want to render it again, so I'm back in a second and then we finish this thing. Okay, and be back. Okay, I'm back and I have an idea here because uh, here the render looks nice so far, so the so looks, looks nice, but it could be that the sun here doesn't come from this, that comes from the opposite houses to here, because here it's very dark, maybe they come from the opposite side, so let's try. Go to here and go to the sun, go to 90. Maybe that looks a little more. Yeah, now, now we have the, the darkness of the shadow is this. This is the reason that comes to the sun comes from the other side. That is it. In this case, I could use all the clona too, because we don't see the shadow here. So, but we don't need that, that to clona in the back switch. Okay, so I make another render because this is a new thing now. Save it and the last render and then we, we are finished. Okay, see you in a second again. So, back and let's see what we get. Yeah, this is now plus zero. Okay, here this this little grain what we have here we can get rid of with the static noise in the render settings. So not in, not in the render settings in here. In whoop, simply. Kernel, simply go here to static noise, and then you get rid of this. And yeah, that's it. So, okay, I hope you like this one. And yeah, if you have questions or if you have a, a, a tip for me for, for, for how you make the sun shadow brighter, as I said, you can do it with a, with a uh, shadow pass, render it out, or in, in, and make it brighter in the post work. But uh, here now and now now it works for me so so now it looks now it looks okay for me because here we have now the same shadow like here so that this is exactly the same. And of course, if the shadow overlap, then it's getting it's getting darker. It's logical. <laughs> logic. Okay. Yeah. It, it, what I said, if you want to make here this this uh, wires and then something else. Just draw a spline as a, how I like it and then uh, make a little sweep out of it, give it a black color or the color you want and put it in the foreground so you, you, you will have the wires too. Or you simply uh, uh, yeah, delete the wires in Photoshop so, so, like I did with, with, the, with the persons here. Okay, so uh, yeah. Uh, I am not sure if I make this weekend a tutorial because uh, tomorrow, uh, Friday tomorrow, I will uh, celebrate a little my birthday. When the Saturday I have my birthday, and so uh, tomorrow I will celebrate a little bit. And uh, it could be that I am a little sick on the weekend, <laughs> so <laughs> I cannot promise that I do something on weekends. So, so <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, if you have questions, recommend, uh, recommendations, uh, requests, complaints, whatever, please, please write me. Uh, you know, meanwhile, where you can reach me, and it's almost everywhere. So, so. Uh, the best, the best is uh, you, you reach, you write me here in the comments or uh, directly an email to info at Nicomedia at as a at for Austria, and. 
or, or in my Facebook group or on my Facebook site. Instagram is not so uh, good because in Instagram you can't send any files or something else. So, so, uh, yeah, but all other ways are very welcome. And if you want to donate, link is in the description. And if you want to support me on Patreon, yeah, Patreon, of course, get these project files again to download. If you want to support me on Patreon, link is in the description too. So now it's over and I say all the best here from Vienna and tschüss und baba.